Hello, so it's that time of year again. I've got my Christmas jumper on, but it's so cold out here, I'm keeping it covered. Anyway, it's time for another Christmas gift guide. And this year, I'm going to try and keep the cost of everything down. And we'll start with some marking and measuring things. And we'll start with something really basic, essential and cheap. And that's some pencils. These are my favourite ones. They're 2H pencils. They're really good quality but a box like this will probably last you a few years and is very cheap. It's really something that I use on every single project and is one of the most essential things I find in the workshop. So another thing that's essential is keeping them sharp. I've got this brass one. It's a bit overkill, but it's a beautiful thing. Now, I've got one that does two sizes of pencil and I've never used the larger hole, so actually, I'll put a link to a smaller one as well because I probably, if I was buying it again, I would just get that. Now, pencils are essential, but you need something to actually mark off and that's where a tape measure comes in. Now, this little halter force one, just two meters. Now, two meters for doing small projects is more than enough, I find. No belt clip or anything like that. It's just really small and compact really nicely made and it's just in metric which is what I want. Now it also has this other feature which is something I don't use very often and that's if you push this bit down at the back this bit of metal comes out and that's for taking internal measurements so handy to have but not something I use very often. So you've measured your bit of wood you've marked it with a pencil but now you need to draw a square line. Now my dad got me this for my birthday earlier in the year. It's a Starrett square and it's a beautiful thing. It even comes in a lovely little red cardboard box. I like to use this for marking out. It's really good for like spacing the insert of hinges and things like that. But I also use it to set up machines for the table saw and the bandsaw blades and things like that. Now it's expensive, but it's a beautiful heirloom type quality thing. But I have got some cheaper options. If you want to stick with the Starrett brand, I've got this square. This is 25 centimeters long. They do different sizes, so I'll put links to all the ones they do below. It can also do 45 degrees. This is much cheaper, so for just some basic marking out, it's a really nice square to have. Now, this one, is a Beko one. I've got quite a few Beko tools and I like all of them. They're really good quality and they're quite a nice price point. And this is something Peter Millard from 10 Minute Workshop uses and has recommended in the past. Uh, so I got one and I have to say, for the money, it's really nice quality. This is the 30 centimeter one. I think they do a 15 centimeter one as well, but I don't need that because I've got the little Starrett one. It has the 45 degrees, the marking knife and the level but I mainly just use it as a square. Now for some more marking out, I've got this Veritas Micro Adjust Wheel Marking Gauge. Now, I've not used this much. I don't think I've used it on a video. It's a beautifully made thing. I've got the metric one. It's really quick and easy to adjust. And you just run this brass bit along the side of the wood and this little round wheel makes a mark on the wood. It really is nice. I'm looking forward to using this some more. Now, as I moaned it was cold in here, I've got myself some gloves. Now, I've not really been big on wearing gloves in the workshop as I use my phone quite a bit because I listen to the radio and podcasts I work and operate the camera and I find I have to take the gloves off to do all those things so I don't wear them but these new ones a bit more expensive but they work with touch screens so I can still operate the camera and the phone and keep the gloves on so hopefully these are going to make my life so much nicer this winter now for another tool I've bought that I've not actually used yet and it's one of these Shinto rasps. I've seen so many other makers use them and wanted one. So we'll have a go with it. It's got a rough side and a fine side and it should make shaping some wood really easily. I don't know what I want it for, but I'm sure it's gonna come in really handy on lots of projects because it just looks such a cool, helpful thing to have around.
Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I use this CMT grooving blade quite a lot. Now, I had one for my old table saw and I got rid of it when I got the saw, but I was cheap and I bought the one with the 35 mil bore, even though I had a 30 mil saw because it was so much cheaper and then I had reducing bushes and it was always a pain to set up like that. So I've spent more money this time, got one with the proper size bore, 30 mil for my saw, and I had a five mil grooving blade last time. This time I've gone for six mil, which I think is the biggest they have. I've not actually used this one in the saw yet, but as I say, I've been using one of these for years. Fantastic for cutting any kind of grooves or rebates. And for box joints, I think it's gonna be fantastic. So you'll definitely see this coming up in quite a few videos. Right, the last item is something I bought this year, but it's not woodworking related at all. I've not been wearing a watch for years, and then I wanted to record my step count. I know your phone can do it, but I don't have it on me all the time. And I love this thing. It was super cheap, which I like, because I can wear it in the workshop and when I'm cooking, and I'm not worried about damaging it. It's got loads of functions, but I mainly use it for the step count, and it's actually affected my lifestyle a bit. I was actually surprised. I spent all day in the workshop on my feet, but I do a surprisingly small amount of steps. And now I go out for a walk every single day and I use the watch to monitor my activity. So it's actually changed how I behave. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. And it's useful just having a watch in the workshop, I find, or knowing the time anyway. So that's it. That's quite a selection of gifts. And I think there should be something for every maker there. There's some very practical things and there's some really nice to have things as well. So thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great Christmas. Mm -hmm.